Hey guys, it's Mario from PilotEffect.com and I'm here to run through a quick video on coordinated corrections. So let's start with this. Attitude plus power controls performance. Let's break down each item. What is attitude? Attitude is the position of the airplane relative to the horizon. As a pilot from the cockpit, we judge attitude based on the relative position of the horizon to the dash of the airplane. To simplify things for our purposes, we're going to discuss attitude as simply pitch. So nose up, nose down, in the middle, you get the idea. The next thing is what is power? Well power is the throttle and that controls our manifold pressure. And finally we have performance. Performance for our situation is made up of two things, airspeed and altitude. Let's look at attitude and power in their application. So here's our airplane. If we just pitch the nose down, what we're doing is redistributing airspeed and altitude. So we ease the nose down, what's gonna happen is we're gonna lose altitude, but gain airspeed. The actual aircraft energy hasn't changed, we're just redistributing airspeed and altitude. If we pitch it up, we would start to gain altitude, but bleed off airspeed. So we're just redistributing airspeed and altitude again. So that's pretty straightforward. Well, what about power? Let's say we're stabilizing the cruise attitude and we just simply add power, stabilize at that attitude. We're gonna gain a little bit of airspeed and a little bit of altitude. But let's say we pitch the nose up and added power. We're gonna distribute that energy gain more towards the altitude department and maintain a stabilized airspeed. Also, what if we added power and lowered the nose? In that case, we're guiding or distributing the energy gain towards the airspeed department and maintaining a stable altitude. The inverse is also correct. If we reduce power and ease the nose up, let's say, we're distributing the energy bleed from the airspeed department and maintaining a stable altitude. If we reduce power and lower the nose, then we're distributing the energy bleed from the altitude department and maintaining a stabilized airspeed. So hopefully you can appreciate now that the attitude or the pitch of the airplane is just how the energy is being distributed between airspeed and altitude. And the power is how much energy the airplane has. Okay, so that's great. So how does this jump into coordinated corrections? Well, let's say we're flying along and we see a deviation. Your airspeed's messed up or maybe your altitude is messed up. Whatever, something's wrong, we have a deviation. The first thing you should do is establish a base. Set the anticipated attitude that you think you need for the phase of flight you're in and also the proper power setting on the manifold pressure. Then let the aircraft stabilize, trim it out. What this allows the airplane to do is prevent the deviation from escalating too much. So things are stabilized. Great, so now what we need to do next is do an analysis. Look at the airspeed and look at the altitude, and this will allow us to judge the performance of the airplane. So once you've looked at your airspeed and altitude via cross-check, you need to judge which energy state are you in. Are you in a trade energy, where the actual energy of the airplane is okay, you just need to redistribute between airspeed and altitude, or maybe you're in a high energy state where the airplane has too much energy and you have to reduce the power and distribute the energy bleed, or you might be in a low energy state. So you have trade energy, low energy, high energy. Once you've decided what energy state you're in, it's time to jump into the coordinated correction. Once you've applied the coordinated correction, continue to reevaluate, judge the pace at which the correction is happening. As you're coming back to your parameters, so airspeed and altitude are getting close to where they need to be, anticipate taking out the correction by adjusting your attitude and power setting as required. And that's basically coordinated corrections. Let's jump into some scenarios. So let's say we're flying along and the desired parameters is we want to be at 4,500 and 120 knots. We're flying along, we look down and we notice the airspeed's low. We see 150 knots. Before we jump into any analysis or coordinated correction, let's establish a base. Let's look at our attitude, make sure that's stabilized and what it needs to be or what we think it needs to be. Look at our manifold pressure, make sure that looks good, trim the airplane out and let it stabilize. Excellent, everything's looking good, we've established a base. The next thing we're gonna do is jump into the actual analysis of what's going on. So our airspeed is five knots low, great. Let's look at our altitude. Let's say our altitude is 4,600 feet, so we're 100 feet high. So our airspeed's low, but our altitude is high. This is a trade energy state. So what I'm gonna do is slowly ease the nose down just a little bit, and that's gonna cause me to lose altitude, but gain airspeed. So we're trading altitude for airspeed. As we're coming back to our parameters, I'm gonna ease out the coordinated correction by adjusting the attitude as required. Okay, so new scenario. We're flying along and we look down at our altitude and we see it's reading a little bit low. We're at 4,400 feet, we're 100 feet low. 
Okay, first thing, establish a base. Establish the attitude, make sure the power setting is correct, trim, let the aircraft stabilize. Now let's actually do our analysis. We see that the altitude is 100 feet low, 4,400 feet. Okay, cool. What's our airspeed doing? Looks like our airspeed is actually okay. It's hovering around 120 knots, so this is good. So what energy state are we in? I'm in a low energy state. So what I'm gonna have to do is add power up, let's say 20 inches of manifold pressure, and I'm gonna distribute that energy gain towards altitude only. So I'm gonna ease the nose up. So that way we're gaining altitude, but we're maintaining a stabilized airspeed. As we're approaching our desired parameters, I'm gonna slowly ease out the coordinated correction by adjusting attitude and power as required. Now let's jump into our last scenario. We're flying along, we notice that the airspeed's a little bit high, 125 knots. Okay, cool. The next thing we have to do is establish a base. Make sure the attitude makes sense, make sure the power setting makes sense, establish the trim or fine tune it as required, and let the aircraft stabilize. Great, let's jump into the analysis. Airspeed's high by a five knots, we're 125 knots. Cool, let's look at our altitude. Our altitude actually looks good. We're sitting right at 4,500. So what energy state am I in? Well, I'm in a high energy state. So what I need to do is reduce power. So let's say I set 17 inches of manifold pressure. I need to guide the energy bleed from airspeed only. So I'm gonna ease the nose up and that'll cause the airplane to bleed airspeed but maintain a stabilized altitude. As we're reaching our parameters, I'm gonna slowly take out the coordinated correction by adjusting the attitude and power setting as required. And that's my quick video on coordinated corrections. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the video and I'll try to answer it if I can. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other tutorials at pilot effect.com. See you later guys.